Peace, y'all. Okay. Peace, peace. Reading this book. Um, we're on chapter seven. Right. How to use your actual power. You have to know how to use it. Let's get to it. Solutions. Okay, so this is page 101. How to use your magic RCC formula to reach your most cherished goals. And remember, RCC is relaxation, concentration, and contemplation. RCC is the formula. Relaxation, concentration, contemplation. All right? That's the formula. Remember. It's deep, y'all. Um, it's basically talking about the issues with health is because of the lack of concentration and the and the tension that is develops in the body. And of course, that's why they refer to high blood pressure as hypertension. Stress. Tension. That's what stress is, is tension. So what do you do to relieve stress? You breathe. You breathe. That's the key. Breathing can take your blood pressure down more than 30 to 40 points in just 5 to 10 minutes. This is a medical fact. All right? Let's stop right there. Okay, so you are now well qualified to move towards your most cherished goal in life. You, like all the famous persons in history, are going to move towards great achievements. The path ahead will be clearly visible and most appealing to you. Your first steps is to find out if whatever you are trying to accomplish is right for you. You now have at your command all the powerful forces you need to light the best road ahead for you. You are ready to move down the road at high speed. Now, Peter received rewards beyond his greatest expectations. Peter was not like unlike most boys. When he grew up, he wanted to be a fireman. In the old days, it was the fondest desire of a boy to be a railroad engineer. Now, many boys dream of becoming a pilot on a jet plane. But Peter's goals kept changing. He went from one job to another, but was never satisfied. The grass always looked greener on the other side of the road. One night after I had talked to Peter and explained my system, he had a very lifelike dream. It seemed that this whole life passed in review. However, the best part of the dream pointed towards a goal that he had often thought about, although he never did anything to move towards this goal. He went back to college. Peter is now a very successful patent attorney. There is no system in print today or any psychic who could help you as much as my system. Help Peter. I have told you that all new and creative ideas, images, or perceptions come exclusively from the astral world. Thomas Edison knew this. Few persons in history of the world ever made a greater contribution to life on Earth. And that's beautiful that we mentioned Thomas Edison. However, we know Thomas Edison was one of the in individuals who stole information mm -hmm. from the Kemetans. Well, from Lewis Lattimore mm -hmm. and Granville T. Woods. All right. Peter is now a great help to his clients because he can contact experts in the astral world who put the finishing touches on the items that he patents. Thus, months and even years of research on the earth plane are not necessary. Have you any idea how much money is spent on research a year in this country? The University of Michigan received over $60 million to carry on research in one year. In most cases, all research has been completed on the astral plane years ago. Don't need to tell you that Peter's greatest, his greatness includes more money that he could possibly use in one lifetime. I'm very proud of William, who I'm going to refer to as Dr. C. Many people in all walks of life are very happy with this existence because they are doing what they want to do. I'm very proud of the fact that I've helped so many turn on astral power. It's free, 
and is never another utility bill. <laughs> William, as a high school graduate, did not have the faintest idea mm -hmm. on what he wanted to do with his life. So obviously, this is what Nikola Tesla was talking about, free energy. Mm -hmm. It's astral energy. Ethereal oh. energy. Mm-hmm. He did not have the faintest idea of what he was going to do with his life. He is now president of the most renowned university in the East. He never ceased showing his appreciation to me for helping him select the goal and move towards it. Many types of wealth come into his life through astral power. You were born into this physical world for a specific purpose. Unfortunately, you cannot possibly know what this purpose is unless you live a more complete life than the earth by itself provides. Your inner self holds the key to your life goal. You must tap astral power. You must call upon your ancestral helpers to discover why you are here. It is only through astral power and astral helpers that you can achieve your full life purposes and most earnest desires. You must live on more than the physical dimensions of the universe. William, Mr. C, was made to understand that he would soon, someday be president of a great university. He had enough faith in my system to accept these findings and move towards this goal. He was told to take one step at a time and then the next step will be made clearer to him. His astral helpers did not let him down and they will not let you down either. How Gladys became a great artist. Many young people have goals that they would like to move towards. However, innumerable physical blocks get into the way. Many parents discourage or forbid their children's efforts to move towards a cherished goal. Gladys always wanted to be a great artist. Even as a little girl, she dreamed of painting pictures that would inspire large numbers of people. She finally persisted against all the criticisms of her parents, friends, and teachers. Her pictures were good, but they weren't great. She was about to become convinced that perhaps her critics were correct. Perhaps she thought she would forget the whole thing. It was then that I came into the picture. I told her how beautiful the astral world is. I sold her on the idea of following my formula so that she could learn astral projection. I told her that she could then visit the astral world and paint what she saw. If only someone would invent a camera that could be used to photograph the astral world, I am certain it will become a reality someday. Today, Gladys has just about the whole astral art field to herself. She not only has very little competition, but her pictures are attracting worldwide attention. The actual qualities that she paints into her pictures has made her famous and wealthy. She has reached her cherished goals. Get what you want, not what you expect. The power to get what you want resides within you this very minute. For too many people, it has waited all their lives, never being used to make the works of their hands more perfect, the words of their voices more vital to the good life or the ideas within their minds, a potent reality. Some people don't want anything, so they expect and get nothing. Mm. Once and for all, let me tell you again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Read, read that part again. Some people don't want anything, so they expect and get nothing. This explains our, our victim Our victim mentality. mentality. Wow. This part right here explains the victim mentality. And why my wife and I and her father, my father-in-law, I found, did a video called Decolonizing the African Mind. We did this like almost 12, 13 years ago. And we said we spoke about the Willie Lynch chip, in which that Pastor Ray Hagen spoke about. But we spoke about it in the sense that we are still dealing with mental size to this very day. And this is one of the problems in which that we find within our people. Read that one more time. Not having expectations and therefore having nothing. Some people don't want anything, so they expect and get nothing. It was kind of deep because today in Ohio, we were looking at a house that was massive. It's a duplex house, 
and it's a thousand dollars family this house is so sturdy and strong and nothing is needed to be done with it but the people in the community there are us and we are just over there just shooting and killing each other and not buying the property we're renting when the houses on the block are a thousand dollars so we're paying four hundred dollars a month when the house is a thousand dollars for life when you can pay for a house one thousand dollars and so we pay the electricity, the water bill. And move in with another person. That's $500 a piece. Yeah. One time. Right. So we have to expect more so that we can have more. Right. We have to be grandiosis, as they say. Grandiosis. Mm. Our mentality has to be far-reaching and worldwide, international. We're thinking on a very small scale right now. And... Once you call upon your ancestor, your ancestors or your astral helpers, as he referred to them as, the Igugu, um, you know, some refer, you know, whether say the um, Orishas, Ori, you know, Ori is the mind. Uh, and the Orishas are the seven African powers called the seven Elohims, the seven planets or stations of consciousness. Um, called the seven eyes of Allah, the seven eyes of God. Once you call upon your internal internal powers um, and connect with these ancestral helpers or astral helpers, then they begin to start. You can begin to start making your mind much grander. You know of what is needed, not just for yourself, but also as you help others along the way. As we say within our um, confirmation or decree, affirmation, I should say, that we read every every day. So let's read it together. And remember, you want to picture images as well as words. Continuing now for days and years to come. Continuing now for days and years to come. I am moving towards my most cherished goal. I am moving towards my most cherished goal. My life is becoming rich with happiness. My life is becoming much richer with happiness. A better economic condition and full contentment. A better economic condition and full contentment. I am moving towards my most cherished goals. I am moving more and more towards my most cherished goals. Every action, enterprise, or endeavor in which I wish to be involved is bringing increasing reward. Every action, enterprise, and endeavor is bringing more and more increasing rewards. Life is making its joys and happiness easier to come by. Life is making its joys and happiness easier to come by. Good fortune is coming my way more and more frequently. Good fortunes are coming my way more and more frequently. I'm learning how to share my good fortune by helping others along the way. I'm learning how to share my good fortunes by helping others along the way. I am truly moving closer to a oneness with God. I am truly moving God. closer and closer and closer to the oneness of my supreme deity, God, Goddess, Netu, Neturu. And the full release of my inner self. And the full release of my inner power, inner self, higher self. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Dana. Mm -hmm. Once and for all, let me tell you again that you should fully realize that you are part of a God. You can throw open the gate of consciousness and release that God put you here on earth to represent him. You have a cherished goal. So get on with the works of finding out what it is and fully realizing that nothing can stop you. What it is, boy. What it is, girl. How could that are we still going to watch a movie? From getting what you want, you have all the power of God within you, and don't you ever forget it. Hold on, read that one more time. Realizing that nothing can stop you. So get on with the works of finding out what it is and fully realizing that nothing can stop you from getting what you want. You have all the power of God within you. So all this fear that you have about the so-called Illuminati and all this... When you have your Igugu, when you have your ancestors, when you have the Orishas around you, 
And when you have them communicating to you or through you, you have nothing to fear. Because you have all the power of God. And God is within you. Within you. Greater is he within the world than he, he that is in. Greater is he, he that within was you, in you than he that is in the world. Or Roberts used to say that all the time, and that was the truth of the matter. Greater is he within you. All right? Um, How- the 101 says, where's the closest place you can find Allah? The answer is in the heart. All right? The Rosicrucian teach that in the right in the right ventricle of the heart is the seed atom that records your life experiences in which that you take with you on your astral journey outside of the physical body when the cord is cut and you go to the next world or realm and as you also reincarnate again if you choose to. If you were spiritually advanced enough not to then that's another story. You still will have to learn how to help others along the way. Mm -hmm. Because now you become a guide for those in which that needs help also in this flesh. No shame. How often have I heard people say, what's the use? Tom, Dick, and Harry get all the breaks. You don't need to be president of the United States to use the physical, mental, and spiritual qualities that God gave you. You are a million times better than you think that you are. You are here to do God's work. This does not mean that you must suffer the tortures of the damned. It means that you can release power to provide help, wealth, and happiness while moving towards your most cherished goal. Or as Karen once said, health, wealth, and knowledge of yourself. <laughs> Clifford now has something to be proud of. Clifford had a cherished goal. It was to be a good businessman, providing a worthwhile service to the ordinary man. And not a good house Negro. Clifford also hated to go to the reunions of any kind, school reunion, army reunion, or anything. He always had to listen to others bragging about their great prosperity. Clifford is an insurance salesman. He was a success, but not outstanding. My magic formula did the trick. Uh-oh. He can now tell and his friends that he has made the $5 million club. Uh-oh. My formula is so simple to use. A few days ago, I was repeating some nonsense symbols that were supposed to bring forth great things instantly. I never could make any of them work. One of my astral helpers suddenly appeared and said, what in the world are you doing? Forget all that rubbish or you will have no ancestral helpers at your beck and call. We are real people with real names. The same names you knew us by when we were on earth. We're not symbols of impersonal forces. So stop reading all that garbage. Stick to the magic formula. There's no hocus pocus about my system. Don't be misled by tons of trash on the market today. The forces other books talk about just don't exist. Under my system. The reason why? Because those were thought forms Mm -hmm. that they attempted to utilize. Instead of actual spirits who actually lived once in the flesh. Who was born in this flesh. A thought form is born from your thoughts. Which is connected to your brain. However, they never dwelt individually in a fleshly body. So therefore, with thoughts, thoughts soon dissipates. All right? And we turn to what is called the realm of form as energy to be utilized by the astral helpers slash you on earth. All right? So this is why it's more important to tap into the Igungu, which are the spirits who once dwelt in a fleshly body. You know, because they know the sufferings and the problems mm-hmm. of the physical body. They know the frailty of the physical body. They know the wants and the desires and the needs of which that comes with the physical body. They can appreciate the struggle while the thought forms cannot. Great point. Great breakdown. Um, a few days ago, I was repeating some non 
sense symbols that were supposed to bring forth great, great things instantly. I never could make any of them work. One of my astral helpers suddenly appeared and said, what in the world are you doing? Forget all that rubbish you will have. No ancestral helpers at your beck and call. We are real people with real names. The same names you know us by when on earth. We're not symbols of impersonal forces, so stop reading all that garbage and stick to your magic formula. That's deep because we do call out our ancestors. So that's why I was saying in chapter um, two that some of this stuff we already are doing. There's no hocus pocus about my system. Don't be misled by the tons of trash on the market. The forces other books talk about just don't exist. Under my system, I have talked with Franklin D. Roosevelt, Stephen Foster, Edgar Casey, Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin Harrison, he's one of the, my master teachers, Bishop Pike, and many other friends and relatives. Um, Martin Luther King Jr., um, Emmanuel Murray, Norman G. Baker, and Jackie Susan are on my staff of ancestral helpers. I have my own personal physician, a man he knew when he lived on earth. He was our family doctor, and his name is Dr. Townsley. Isn't all this worth a lot more than mumbling all the nonsense symbols and trying to call in hocus pocus forces with weird names? How to find your ultimate goal in life. If you have progressed to the point where you have been granted the services of a master teacher, finding your ultimate life goal is easy. Just ask your teacher and they'll tell you. If you do not yet have your master teacher, call in one of your astral helpers. Your helper will take you to the plane where there is reflection of the Akashic Records. The official permanent Akashic records are on a rather high level of the astral plane, but you can easily reach the reflected astral record level through astral projection. When you arrive, your helper will find someone to interpret your records. You'll be told what your ultimate goal should be and what you need to do to get on the right track. Now, in the Rosicrucian teachings, you have solid, liquid, and gas. That's what they tell you about, but then you have the four higher ethereal or etheric states. You have life ether, light ether, you have um, no, you have chemical ether, life ether, light ether, and mental reflective ether. That reflective ether state is the state in which that he's referring to, which is the higher astral state, which is known as the Akashic Records. Nice. Living with your astral helpers is a very fulfilling experience. Every friend of ours who has developed any psychic awareness notices the wondrous feeling and the tones that penetrate our home. This is because several of our spirit friends are always with us. There is never a lonesome feeling in our home. We are always feel that we are surrounded by forces of love, empathy, and deep devotion. Right now, as I write these lines, many colored dots of light are monetarily appearing on the paper. Norma Jean, Jackie, and Virginia are near me right now. When we need a doctor, it takes less than 10 seconds to get Dr. Townsley here. There's no need to call a doctor and wait days for an appointment and wait hours in his office. Our spirit doctor is here in less than 10 seconds. He has always helped many of our friends. At least four of our spirit friends stay with us while we sleep. They see to it that we get the rest that we need. They provide us with love comfort and understanding. So Dr. Townsley, Dr. Townsley, please heal Divya Crenshaw and heal all the bodies that are listening to this broadcast and their grandparents. And also let's say Dr. Charles Drew. Gotcha. And also um, um Dr. Marie Dancy. Asha. No, I was gonna say who dealt with the um who dealt with the blood transfusion, but also with the open heart surgery. Oh um, yeah, and also Prince Bay. Right, Prince Bay, along with our grandmaster teacher, Sanyasa As we sit in the living room, we know that several of our spirit friends are with us. Sometimes they enter into the conversation. For example, one evening we were trying to remember the name of the leading actor's wife in the television show. We could not think of it. Ralph Tyler, who was my master teacher, they spoke up in his slow, low voice. Natalie Wood. 
You are right, Ralph, we reply. I'm not as dumb as you think I am. Was Ralph's reply as we all had a very good laugh. Your spirit friends will be with you on trips. They will even go with you while you're shopping. Recently, I bought a pair of shoes. In the attempt to decide, I narrowed my selection down to two pairs. With one, should I buy? I wondered. A white light appeared on the pair, so that was the pair that I bought. If you have trouble locating some items in the shopping center, just close your eyes and ask your astral helpers. One of your helpers will tell you where it is or guide you there. If you forget an item, you should suddenly remember where it is. Suppose you're on a trip. The thought comes to your mind that you should use a cup of coffee in a roll or lunch or dinner. Just keep driving on the highway. When one of your helper locates a suitable place, he or she will flash a light at the place where you should turn in. If you come to a fork in the highway and are not sure whether you should bear right or left, don't worry. A bright light will appear on the right road. Even if you know exactly where to go, you will see bright lights in a tree or on a bridge as you go down the highway. Your friends keep telling you that they are with you. Some of your spirit friends will ride in the car with you. Some prefer to fly on their head and make sure you get where you want to go. You can make friends with many fine people whom you have not met before. I never knew Jackie Susan before she passed the spirit. I did enjoy reading her books. I never met Mary Jo Coffini. We know her very, very well now. She is with us most of the time. We always liked Norma Jean Baker, Marilyn Monroe, but never met her until a year ago. She's right here now, and I write these lines telling me to say hi to you and sending her love. She's a very lovely person. Just stop for a moment and think of wonderful friends you can have if you use my magic formula and live on more than one dimension of the universe. The time will come when your vibrations will stay at a rather high level so that you can always be conscious of your many astral friends and the power they bring to you. Be careful to select the right helpers to bring in important spiritual personalities. I have been more fortunate in this respect. My wife's mother, Lena, contacts all the spirits that I wish to have on my staff or those that I wish to interview, and she's really good at it. I believe that she would bring in Winston Churchill if I asked her to. She seems to really know her way around. And this is important. Be careful to select the helper who can really bring in important people to help you live a full life and gain prosperity, health, and happiness. Learn to identify your astral helpers. Until you are able to see your helpers' auras, you will need to learn to recognize their identifying lights. The great majority use a white light. Some of them a blue light. Normal Dream sprays you with thousands of pinpoint lights. When I meditate, all um, my spirit friends... These, these are orbs that he's referring to. Which... Some of y'all have seen these lights. Right. These are ancestors that are around you. They come in the shape of orbs. Her father and brother went to Egypt um, about five years ago or so um, with Pastor Ray Hagers. And when they went, they uh, went to the Valley of the Kings. And they said they were surrounded by orbs of light. Everybody was seeing them. Mm. Mm. Wow. When I meditate, all my spirit friends light their lights in the same location every time they come in. For example, Virginia flashes a blue light directly to my right, Phyllis to the upper right, Mary Jo farther to the jo to the right, Jackie to the lower right. There are others to my left and my far left above and below, which is also deep too. One of the sisters sent us a video and she had caught on tape all these lights that have been lighting up around her. And this is exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. You will generally pick up a name as they flash their lights. Eventually, you will see their beautiful aura and occasionally you will see them standing right beside or in front of you. You will see all of this best with a blindfold on. The more physical lights that you shut out, the brighter the astral lights, auras, or images. Be satisfied with only the best. Churchill once made the remark, I'm easily satisfied with only the best. I often fed the outside birds slices of bread. I break them into small pieces, but some larger pieces slip through. It is interesting to watch the birds 
Some will fight over a few crumbs while others grab a large piece and fly away. If there is one thing that you should be able to do right now, it is to see your whole life as it should be and not dwell on the little unimportant bits of your life. I have known of men who actually refused promotions because they didn't want to assume the responsibilities. Christ turned water into wine. As the story goes, Christ was attending a wedding. They ran out of wine, so pots of water were brought before Christ, and he turned the water into wine. Until recently, scientists would have told you that this would be impossible. Modern scientists are not so sure that it can't be done. And knowledge of astral law indicates that it can be done very easily, just as Christ did. I once had a college student who did not like water. She was brought up in a community where the drinking water tasted horrible. I put her in a hypnotic trance and told her that the water would not taste like her favorite. Like and I told her that the water would now taste like her favorite soda, which was Coca Cola. I saw her several years later, and she told me that water still tastes like Coca Cola. <laughs> Think of the money she saved. <laughs> Another hypnotic subject of mine wanted to reduce her intake of sugar. I told her while she was in a trance that her coffee would taste sweet just like it did before the hypnotic situation was made. She was well pleased with the results. However, one day she forgot and put sugar in her coffee. What do you suppose happened? I think she thought it was too sweet. Why, it was so sweet that she couldn't drink it. I had another student who suffered from the heat every summer. While she was in a trance, I told her that she would always feel comfortably cool. No matter how hot it was during the summer. What I actually did was air condition her. Many years later, she told me that she no longer suffered from the heat. You can do these same things and many more for yourself or others through meditation, mental action images, and full use of your magic formula. If the water of life does not measure up, you can change it through the release of astral power. Through the use of your formula, you can direct your consciousness from a lower to a higher level. You can release your inner potential, which has been idle for years, moving towards goals, making money, coming healthy, problems, living on a high dimensional level. Experiencing love and beautiful relationship in your marriage or becoming a leader in your community all become easy. Christ turned water into wine. You can turn a purely physical existence into anything your heart desires. You can reverse emotions from hate to love, nervousness to calmness, or sadness to happiness. You can change your whole personality. The law of the physical world will keep you in bondage. The laws of the astral world will set you free. Concentration, the key to success. Hypnosis is simple, a high degree of concentration. I have told you how pinpoint concentration can change you physically. If you tell a person in a hypnotic trance that he is cold, he'll literally be cold. If you tell him to see a beautiful scene while he's looking at a slum area, he'll see beauty. Hold a, do do a dollar bill in front of him and tell him that it's a hundred dollar bill and it will be a hundred dollar bill. The image that you put in their minds are materialized into reality. You can show a person in a trance blank cards and tell them that they are colored pictures of themselves or scenes in Mexico, and he will see just what you said that's pictured. Years later, he will still see the same pictures on the same blank cards. The lesson to be learned from hypnosis is that concentration on the mental action images or C in the formula produces reality. This is true whether or not your desires are for a healthy body, a wonderful wife, and million dollars or to move towards your most cherished goals. Concentration is also very important in raising your vibration so that you can tune in your astral helpers and your astral powers. Actually, when you meditate successfully, you put yourself in a light trance eliminating all awareness of the physical environment around you. Your mental actions images that become so real that miracles can happen. You can take off through astral projection and your astral helpers are in there pitching for you. A beautiful true story of a cherished goal. There was probably many beautiful women living in the Holy Land at the time of Christ. However, there was one who was more beautiful than any of the others because of her godlike qualities that radiated from her physical body. 
She was very much interested in the healing that she saw Jesus accomplishing. She was present on many occasions when Jesus healed the sick or restored life to those who had apparently passed the spirit. It was her most cherished goal to be able to do just a few of the things that Jesus did. It seemed so easy for him. She concentrated on the goals, and it was always in her mind. This was a very divine woman, returned to earth several times after living in the Holy Land at the time of Christ. To be able to heal the sick was always her goal. She often wondered why she, she was so strongly motivated to working with the sick and all unfortunate people. Of course, she did not know where her cherished goals originated. All that she knew was that she must work to bring people to Christ and help them, physically, mentally, and spiritually. About 80 years ago, she again appeared, appeared on earth. The goal was stronger than ever. Even as a little girl, her thoughts were of healing the sick. She was born into a poor family, but that didn't stop her. At an early age, she started out preaching the gospel. Lead the people to Jesus. And how easy this must have been for her. For she, at one time, had lived in the presence of Jesus. She was an interim minister, an um, interim minister for years, going from place to place, always bright with hopes and never losing faith in herself or what the teachings of Christ could do for people. She was often hungry and she slept in haylofts or out in the open. She had no money and very few earthly possessions, but she had Jesus and her goals. She had complete faith in God, and that was all that she needed. Finally, she was able to settle down in one place with a congregation of her own. One Sunday, she noticed that several of her members had been healed of a rather serious disease. As the weeks passed, more and more persons were healed in just the way Jesus had healed people 2,000 years before. The word spread rapidly until hundreds were seeking her help. Although she's probably still unaware of how all this healing art started, she reached her cherished goal. Today, dressed in different physical body, she is the same beautiful woman who followed Jesus 2,000 years ago as he healed the sick. I'm certain that you can fully understand that this true story could never come to light unless someone lived and communicated on more than one dimension of the universe. My master teacher told me that this story the day that this famous follower of Jesus Christ appeared in Ann Harbor before 15,000 people to heal many of the wide variety of illnesses, including terminal bone cancer cases. As I sat in meditation at the Chrysler Arena while the healing was taking place, I saw 12 astral helpers going about the business of this healing. This now famous woman calls the healing forces the Holy Spirit. I call it astral power. During this revelation, my master teacher told me that she now is a symbol of Christ. Her astral helpers are the symbol of the 12 disciples of Christ, and she is now doing what Christ did 2,000 years ago. At that time, she wanted the power to heal. Today, she has that power. She has reached her most cherished goal. Unless she read this account, she will probably go on realizing that she has the astral helpers. She has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that my system works best with the help of astral helpers. I am certain that you have all heard of the now famous Catherine Hullman, a tip from a famous author. I thought that I had finished this chapter. However, I am pleased that I have the opportunity to bring a message to you from a famous author and one of my astral helpers. Jackie Susan was beautifully materialized a few mornings ago. I never cease marvelously at how beautiful our spirit friends are. And Jackie is no exception. She has a very original idea that she wants me to tell you about. So better yet, I'll let her tell you herself. If I had only known what I've known now, I would have written the first spirit-oriented novel. It is too late for me, but not for the readers of Dr. Metnick's book. My suggestion is for any persons who have writing abilities to write the first novel based on the characters from the astral world. What is a powerful plot that you could develop? I become so excited with the thought of this idea that I had to materialize it myself and tell Dr. Metnick about it. 
Follow the doctor's magic formula. Learn astral projection and see for yourself what an original and most wonderful novel that you can write. I will be glad to help you if you're really serious about writing this novel. You can find me at Mother Bacon Astral Configuration. And my, again, again, my name is Jackie Susan. I have reached my cherished goals. With the aid of my master teacher, Astro Helpers, and Astro Projection, I have learned a great deal with about several of my former lives on Earth. You can do the same with the full use of the magic formula. I have regressed my life in Boston during the American Revolution because I was a businessman. Paul Revere woke me up in the night of his famous ride. I have regressed to a former life in Scotland. I built a castle at Devonier on Loch Fiann. My name was John McNuckton, and I married a girl by the name of Anne, who is now my spirit guide. I have regressed to Rome about the year 900. I was a Roman general. I have regressed to Greece, where I have found that I was in a shipping business, an ancient Anasis. I have regressed to the year 500 in Arabia. I was an Arabian prince with a harem. My job was to keep the early Christians from killing each other. I myself was killed at the age of 50. I have regressed to the time of Christ. I was an Egyptian businessman living in Jerusalem. I have regressed to the time I was a Brahmin, priest, several thousand years ago. Through astral projection, I have visited many places where I formerly lived and loved. Donovan Castle is still there. It has been restored by an English businessman and is now 300 years old. My master teacher recently showed me a copy of my book. Don't try to figure out astral time. Just remember that everything is now. Although I have a great deal of writing yet to do, this book is in the astral world. Over 200,000 copies have been sold. So they tell me, just to confuse you, just to confess you still more. Just to confuse you still more, when my publishers put this book out, it will be exactly word for word, cover and all, like the one already available in the astral world. I have reached my cherished goals. This book is my crown and glory. Dozens of astral helpers have put its concept into my mind. With the complete use of my magic formula, the things that you can do are limitless. It is truly great to live in many dimensions of the universe. All right, y'all, that was chapter seven, and I ended on 112. And we'll read chapter eight next time together. Also, um, if you had any dreams, I would love for you to put it down in the comments or email us. So we would just love to keep connected. Um, God, you want to say anything? Peace. <laughs> Peace.